Hello everyone, this is George from Stress of Sampling and today I'm going to compare Distort 1 and Distort 2 our upcoming electric guitar library which is currently in uh, beta version so um, probably some of you already own Distort so uh, you mm, already know what the concept is so basically uh, if you're new to the series I will just tell you that uh, the concept of the library is um, this is a guitar, electric guitar library made especially for keyboard players like myself. For instance, I um, there are tons of lovely guitar libraries, sample libraries out there, but they're always a bit complex, uh, complicated to work with. So um, I personally, as a composer, wanted to have something more, you know, straight out of the out of the box. So as you can see, I have loaded both Distort One and Distort Two. And uh, we have two ranges, uh, to the left and to the right. What are these two ranges? I'm going to explain to you right now. So um, this is Distort 1. To the left we have uh, mutes or pizzicatos in Bulgarian, but mostly, you know, like palm mutes. They are either normal or in power chord option. And to the right we have just normal sustains or with power chord. Okay, and uh, you can use those two regions by playing riffs like this. So basically this is the concept of Distort. You have two unique libraries, uh, not libraries, sorry, um, uh, samples for the left and for the right guitar, a couple of round robins, up and down samples versus just down samples. You can mute and therefore purge the libraries. You can pan them, you can, for instance, I can just control click on the panning disable the left guitar and now have a stereo stereo guitar now this is how distort one sounds like distort two is a bit more uh, different but the concept is basically the same Okay, you have a bunch of microphones in this while this sort one has just one normal mic position. Uh, obviously you have the panning, you have normal mixed and power chord mode. So uh, this is the difference. So let, let me just start with the differences. So first, the normal mode. You know, these are, you know, just single notes. The mixed option is we have to the left we have power chord uh, no, sorry not power chord but just normal um, uh, palm mutes and to the right we have like power chord sustains let me just turn on the up and down mode and the power chord option uh, you have to click and drag the mouse up and down to to make this work and uh, the power uh, chord option it's obviously power chords in the in both regions so for instance if I'm to play like intervals they will always be like a fifth and an octave the other new thing is that we have um, a couple of mic positions like dynamic mic, ribbon mic and hole. So uh, the guitar was amped in, in a hole in the Sophie Session Studio. It's a large space. So we amped the guitar there. Normally using the uh, dynamic mics it sounds like this.
The ribbon mics, however, are um, I personally like them very much. They are Palooza ribbon mics, boutique series, and they add a bit of warmth uh, in the lows and low mids. Again, everything right here is like double tracked. So the left guitar samples are totally different from the right guitar samples. They are unique samples. And finally we have the hole, which normally... Yeah, you can, you can, you can hear that. Normally uh, the hole is um, it, it's recorded in stereo, but you can click it like in mono. Uh, this is because uh, obviously uh, the guitar is double tracked, so we thought that probably having two two stereo signals will be problematic for some of you who you know while you mix. This is how normally both guitars should sound like. Now I have loaded this project. I don't need this anymore. I think that uh, you have mostly the, you know, the, the uh, most of the library is clear to you now. It's really simple. It's um, the main goal of this tour is to just plug and play. You know, nothing, nothing complicated. Now, uh, the thing that I like very much uh, in Distor Two is that now we have clean samples. So I have loaded this uh, channel. It has some reverb to it, and. Uh, yeah, just listen to, to how it sounds. Actually, hold on. it was right. It was in the center because I had the, re the right guitar disabled. So this is good for... And if you uh, play with the up and down. reverb and obviously you have the um let me bring back this back to down now another cool feature is um this is again the clean guitar. Sorry, I'm using multiple windows here. So this time it's stereo. I had a bit of, let me just bring, uh, you know, the, the mixer right here. Okay. So as you can see, I have two effects that I have disabled and EQ. So here's how, how it sounds like normally. These are uh, you know, power chords in in a clean guitar. So, instant cinematic feeling. It's like reverb and tremolo. This is just the built-in tremolo patch in in Cubase. So I have disabled the lows. I will explain why in a bit. And then it comes again. I'm using this most of the stock um, plugins inside Cubase, so it's uh, really uh, straight out of the box again. So I have added this Crunch Overdrive because these uh, these samples are clean, so I can amp them. Okay, and another cool feature is the mod wheel, which let me bring back up the contact. The mod wheel. It basically changes the attack of the sample versus. So you can play around with this and do really cool cinematic stuff. So um, here's just, uh, you know, just the clean guitars, two of the clean guitars uh, playing together. So it's. Um, 
the mono one. just you know a bit of you know delayed mutes for baseline okay and then we have this um, th this is a track a demo track that I, I've, I've written and uh, it starts with the clean guitar and uh, it goes to the distorted version at the end so here we have like a normal distorted version <laughs> have the uh, really heavy stuff okay let me tell you what the idea here is so first we have the normal distort Okay, and then we have this channel right here, which is distort reamped. So here's how it sounds. This is this is just the clean guitar, and it's uh, it's like mono, like just one channel. It sounds a bit a bit silly, right? So what I did was I added some VST, you know, like the fat rocker. So uh, it should sound a bit different right now. And when I combine it with the, with the normal distort, So basically, the library offers uh, huge options for for uh, for you. You can mix uh, different sounds. You can reamp some sounds. You can use the clean samples or not the clean samples. So um, I think that you enjoy this library. It's much more advanced than the first distort. It has some uh, extra freebies as well. So um, yeah, um, stay tuned for more info about distort and uh, take the time to enjoy. Uh, to hopefully enjoy, of course, this track which I made entirely of distort. All the guitars are distort except for the bass line. So you can, you can check what I used. So stay tuned. Cheers for now.